I have some wooden rods and I want to join them like this at an 90 degrees angle, making a joint that can be easily disassembled. I have to cut half circle in the end of the rod, a fish mouth, and I will use a hole saw to cut the end of the rods. This one is the same diameter as the wooden rods. Then, to protect my DIY drill press table, I put this sacrificial piece of wood under the rod. The wooden rod must rest perfect on the sacrificial piece all along the piece. And to keep it stable, I rest here this end of the wooden rod. Now I put the drill press fence against the hole saw. I think that like this it is ok. I put the wood rod on the sacrificial piece and against the fence. I put the end of the wooden rod against the centering bit of the hole saw. And I cut the half circle. I mean I cut the fish mouth. And here we can see the half circle bite, usually called a fish mouth. I think it is a nice cut, and once I sand the wood bar, it will look a very clean cut. Now I cut the same fish mouth in the end of another rod, because I need two rods. Ok, these cuts look much better than expected. Now this is a third wooden rod, and I want to make a mark here, and another mark here. And I want both marks to be in the same line parallel to the axis of the rod. Here the wood grain is parallel to the tabletop. The diameter of the wood rods is 28 millimeters. So I mark at half that measurement 14 millimeters from the end of the rod, and another 14 millimeters from the wooden strip that holds the wood rod. And I do the same in the other end of the rod. Now, now I have this drill bit in the drill press, and it is the same diameter as the smooth chunk of these confirmed screws. These are the screws we would use to assemble melamine chipboard furniture. Then, if I move this down, I use the tip of the bit to make one mark here. So now I put the fence at 14 mm from the mark. Remember that 14 mm is half the diameter of the wood rod. I make sure that the fence is perfect at 14 mm from the mark. And now we can see that there is only one position where the tip of the bit is exactly on the mark in the rod. So I drill the rod. I also drill the other end of the rod. And 
and I make sure that I can insert the confirmat screw. So now I have to drill the center of the fish mouth that I cut before in the other two rods, so I can screw here the third wood rod. Then I mark the center in both pieces. Ok, it is not easy to be very precise. Maybe I should mark the center and drill the end of the rods before I cut the fish mouth. Ok, I use some tape to mark the depth I have to drill. And I drill the wooden rods. I should drill exactly in the axis of the rods. Here I have already varnished the rods, so I will join the wooden rods using the screws. I screw the other corner. And well, I think these are very nice wooden rods joints. And they are easy to disassemble too. Like this, I have used the wooden rods to make this kind of arc. And I have to join this arc to this wooden base. Then in a previous video, links in the description, I made this loose joint using wooden doubles. But here I have to drill a hole with a bigger diameter, because at first I was going to use some rods that are thinner than these ones. So to drill a hole with the same diameter as these thick rods, I will use this hole saw. But this time, I have to take the centering bit away. I set the drill press depth stop. I set the wooden base in the drill press. Notice that here there are some shims to separate the pieces to each side of the hole. And I able to center the hole saw. I make a mark using the hole saw. This mark is just to make sure that the hole saw is well centered and I drill the hole with the desired diameter. I have to clean the bottom of the hole in both parts. And I drill the hole in the other side of this wooden base.
So now I can insert there the wooden arc. As we already know, we can disassemble these pieces. So if I insert the rod in the hole, thanks to the shims I have put between the parts when drilling the hole, when I insert the screw, both parts of the hole will tight against the wood rod. I will use this long screw that has a long smooth chunk and the thread is just near the tip. I drill the guide hole And now I cut a slot here. So the screw enters here, and when I loosen the screw, I can pull up the rod to take it away of the wooden base. There is no need to remove the screw completely. I assemble the parts of the base. You can see that I have already varnished the base and I have installed some casters. And I fit the wood arc in the holes in the base. This is the top of the arc. So now I can insert the screws. Okay, here we can see the small gap between both parts that allows to tie the parts of the base against the wood rod. Here we can see how it works. And I forgot recording how the rods come up without having to remove the screws, but we sure get the idea. In this video, I wanted to focus on these removable joints using wooden rods. And is that when we join pieces of wood, we don't always have to glue them. Sometimes it is interesting to make joints that are easy to disassemble. This way we can disassemble the parts of this wooden mobile coat rack for storage. And reassembling it, it is very simple and very fast. I will make a video in which I show the whole process of how I made this wooden coat rack from start to finish. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video and you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications every time I upload a new video.